everyone, welcome to News Extra. And right around the corner, we have the Western Nebraska Community College Homecoming, which is going to be coming up very shortly. Things are gonna be kicking off very soon. And with me today is WNCC Alumni Relations Director, Mary Sheffield. Thank you very much for joining us. Thank you for having me. So, uh, unusual kind of situation in that the homecoming game is actually gonna be at the very beginning yes. of the week of festivities. Yes. Explain, explain how this works. Well, we were given a, a date, a set of dates for a week to have homecoming, and it did not include a home volleyball game. So oh. we reached into the previous weekend and grabbed the home game there, and we're pretty excited about it because it makes a, a quite a robust week of activities for the community to be involved in. And it's going to be the 18th, 18th. Uh, Friday the 18th, and uh, it's a whiteout. Explain, yes. explain how that works. Well, um, we have about 350 white t-shirts that have a symbol on them that or a, a logo on them, the cougar head, and fear the pride, our, our athletic logo on it. And we'll be giving those out to the first 350 people into the community. So everybody in the audience should have hopefully have white on, mm -hmm. um, and then we'll have some different games for uh, different age groups. Uh, the Some of the student organizations and the athletic students will be manning those booths and face painting, mm -hmm. uh, WNCC logo tattoos, uh, different activities like that. But it'll be a chance for us to unite as a, a fan base and cheer on the, the Lady Cougars. And uh, the activities, of course, kicking off with that and then moving right through the weekend into the next week. Let's talk a little bit about some of the things that are going to be going on. Um, in Sydney, there's going to be a uh, vocational air fly-in and breakfast uh, kicking off at the, at the campus on the on Saturday the 19th. Yes, they've done that for a few years and it's it's quite a community event for them and it starts at 7 in the morning and it'll be a wonderful event. And it's going to have a lot of people uh, taking place there. Of course, um, after that uh, we also have uh, uh, the game against Otero Junior College mm -hmm. at Cougar Palace. Right. Uh, in which uh, the first uh, 200 people through the door get a rally towel. Right. That'll be a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. And uh, then there's a whole bunch of things coming up throughout the next week after that weekend. And we'll back, be back on News Extra in just a moment to tell you all about that. And we're back on News Extra, and, and I have Mary Sheffield, the WNCC Alumni Relations Director. We're talking about Homecoming 2019 for WNCC. Again, thank you very much for joining us. Oh, thank you. Of course, things kicking off with the whiteout on the 18th with the volleyball team. But there's a whole lot of things happening during the course of the following week. Right. Um, basically, starting off Monday on the Scotts Bluff campus, a uh, um, little bit of a campus entertainment. Right. The theme of our homecoming is home sweet homecoming. So we're going to be tra showing Charlie and the Chocolate Factory mm -hmm. in the pit with some popcorn. And then also, um, one of the campuses is doing a marvelous muffin. That's day. Alliance. Alliance. Yep. Alliance is doing marvelous muffins. So, yep. Yeah. And uh, things continue on uh, with uh, Tuesday, right. the much anticipated lip yes. sync contest. Yes, I have not <laughs> been to one yet and I've heard many stories and I'm very excited to go. I've heard that it's a wonderfully attended community event as mm -hmm. well. So, And of course, uh, people obviously are going to be dressing the part right. if they're <laughs> up on stage lip syncing as well. That's going to be in the Con Conestoga Hall lobby on the Scotts Bluff campus mm -hmm. at seven o'clock. Um, got a couple of birthdays for Buddy the Cougar. Right. Who turned 16 this it's year. Sweet 16. Yeah, and a uh, couple of the birthdays, one of them coming up on Wednesday mm -hmm. uh, in Scotts Bluff. Right. Kind of, there's some activities around that as well. Yeah, we try to do it during the passing period of class about 10.50, okay. and there'll be some treats, obviously balloons, Buddy, streamers, and mm -hmm. Sing happy birthday to uh, him. As well as a um, homecoming barbecue on the Sydney campus, yes. same day. Uh, Thursday, got a lot of things oh, going on, all three, all three campuses. Big day. <laughs> uh, what do we have uh, basically in Sydney and, and Alliance? It looks like it's a lot of uh, camaraderie. Mm -hmm. With a root beer float uh, session in Sydney. Right. And um, There's Casino. Oh, Casino, really? At, at the community center. Oh, that'll be fun. Up in Alliance. Alliance. That'll be a mm -hmm. lot of fun. And then here on the Scotts Bluff campus, uh, we actually have the uh, cornerstone laying ceremony. Right. We'll lay the cornerstone with the Masonic Lodge, mm -hmm. and this is to culminate the, the new build, the, the remodel of the new the main building. So that'll be a 
great event kind of a way to culminate that. Yeah, a lot of neat things going on there. And they, of course, uh, as you said, Casino Night at the Scotts Bluff campus on Thursday, 7 to 9, Bishop Dining mm -hmm. Hall. Um, Buddy gets his second birthday party of the week right. in Alliance on, on Friday. Um, well, can, if we can move back to Thursday, sure. Business After Hours is oh, at that's five, right. and that's a wonderfully attended uh, a community event, and we really would love to have a lot of professionals come out. It was uh, highly toted mm -hmm. and uh, reviewed last year by some of the community attendees. Oh, yeah. So if we have professionals come out and, and build those relationships with our students uh, professionally. Yeah, and that'll be a lot of fun. Oh, um, it'll be wonderful. Those, those, be events, those events are always... Uh, uh, not only entertaining, but very informative for the people that, that right. take place in the networking and things such as that going on. Right, and it'll be held in the Learning Commons. Okay. And if you haven't had a chance to be in the Learning Commons, it's got a beautiful view of the, the bluffs and, and Scott's Bluff and might catch the sunset. Oh, that would be perfect. Yeah. That would be absolutely perfect. And then coming up on Friday, as we were saying, a second birthday party for Buddy on the Alliance mm -hmm. campus. Um, we also have the uh, Alumni and Friends Banquet at 530 right. uh, uh, in Scott's Bluff. And have some uh, alumni awards being presented there, mm -hmm. and, and then uh, things wrapping up on uh, on Saturday for Homecoming Week with right. Veterans Upward Bound. Their 20th anniversary of being on campus, and Chris Wolf has done a great job organizing that. And we have some wonderful entertainment coming. Mm -hmm. And and anybody interested that has been through the Veterans Upward Bound program, contact her, or I can co get you in contact with her. So a lot of neat things going on for uh, the 2019 homecoming for WNCC. If there's somebody who's interested to, to uh, we bounced around a little bit on the calendar with it. If somebody's interested in finding out what's going on, how can they do so? Well, the best place would be to go to the website. Mm -hmm. Um, and then to look for the homecoming schedule, you can always call me in the alumni office, which is part of the foundation. So we'd love to have hear from you and have you join us. And also check on Facebook as well. Yes. I'm sure things will be, they've already been announced, uh, yes. quite a number of them. And so the, all of that stuff will be is there as well. Right. Mary, thank you very much for joining oh, us on News Extra you. today. Thank you for having me.